Serginho Des. Everybody's talking about the move from Ajax to Barcelona. I know a lot of our colleagues on ESPN Deportes and down in Mexico are focused on it as well. I wonder if you can categorize the reaction, because there's a, there's a truth happening here. Young American prospects are having a lot of success in Europe, and young Mexican prospects, the few that are there, are very much stagnating. Yeah, but Mexico closes its own doors. Uh, it's, it's a reality. But that doesn't I, change the fact that so many... the U.S. has a lot of young, talented players. Mexico doesn't does have not. a lot of young, talented players. It and that's not. the discussion in CONCACAF. It's U.S. versus Mexico. Yeah, but why does the U.S. have so many players? Besides them being talented players, they have... Uh, they were born in different countries. They have uh, European passports. You know, they're the son of immigrants, uh, naturalized citizens. You know, all these different things going around. They're they're allowed to to leave the academy systems uh, in MLS. They're encouraged to sell these players or to see them off. And in Mexico, you know what that's like. Rodolfo Pizarro, at 26 years old, was valued 20 million dollars to a team in La Liga. These La Liga teams are saying, what? 26 years old. $20 million for a player who's not really played at the national team, a Mexican player? No, 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 we don't want that. We can go off and get four different, five different players for that kind of money who are younger with more upside. Mexico closes their own doors. There is plenty of talent in Mexico. Nobody is denying the pipeline, the talent that is in Mexico. I've been there. I've seen these Fuerzas Básicas, these academies. The talent level is elite, especially at a world's level. Don't take my word for it. Look at the U-17 World Cups they've won. They have players... For whatever reason, at U17, it's not for whatever reason. It's because they do things the correct way when they are uh, in these academy systems. They are taught the proper way of playing the game. They have elite talent. But then these ownership groups, but then the federation, but then whatever reason you might want to put in here, we have too many foreigners in the league. It's too hard for these players to get a fair shake. These limitations that they put on themselves, they go against them. It is what it is. Mexico is starting to see that the U.S., the neighbor up north, all of a sudden has players at Chelsea, at Leipzig, at City, at, uh, at Bayern Munich. You know, at Barcelona, they have two players. And they're just starting to say, hold on a second. Before they were telling us, watch out for MLS, and we would laugh, well, what about CONCACAF Champions League? Now we're telling us, watch out at the national team level. What can we say when their best players, not even their best players, when their young players are rubbing elbows, they're rubbing shoulders, they're, they're sharpening their, their irons with the world's elites, and our players aren't leaving. They're choosing to go to MLS. There's been a lot of, I don't want to say head scratching, but doubting amongst themselves in what is the uh, Mexican press. Thank you very much, Herc. Uh, speaking of Major League Soccer, MLS returns to your ESPN Plus screens on Saturday. Ten matches for you to choose from. Don't miss a single one. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.